able to be here uh, because I'm part uh, of my university, University of Latvia, and my mission today is uh, to tell you a little about, about my team, about Latvia and about the University of Latvia. And I have got here uh, some colleagues from our university, and uh, you, you, you are welcome to help me. <laughs> okay, this is And first of all, uh, who are we? Uh, actually, we are neighborhoods. As you know, we are neighborhoods of Lithuania. Uh, four or five days walking, and you are in capital uh, of But the car only two hours, approximately. And um, actually, we are singers and dancers too. After some weeks, after two weeks, uh, it will be National uh, Lesbian Song and Dance Festival, more than 100 years tradition. And uh, here we have approximately uh, 40,000 uh, active participants. And uh, half of the popula population will be spectators of this. Uh, uh, in, uh, uh, <coughs> in, in, inside the participants uh, are uh, three my sons included. Uh, one, uh, uh, but one is dancer, one is singer, and one is uh, uh, brass orchestra uh, participant. And uh, Latvians, we are we are winners. Uh, this is a competition of, uh, of uh, uh, ice hockey this year. Maybe you you know that uh, uh, we have got uh, our team got a uh, place and as you uh, uh, if you look at uh, those numbers this is population of, of Latvia less than two million people and those are other semi-primal teams those are uh, more uh, than three uh, tens uh, millions and three and uh, half millions and uh, we uh, get uh, rounds and um, spectators uh, were approximately three uh, thousands of, of our people and what I would like to say um, Latvians uh, are a team we are not a huge team and we are not a tiny team but we are a very strong team the same is uh, with, oh, and here you can see the numbers um, about what I thought. And um, the same is about uh, our university. This is the um, uh, House of Sciences. This is a new building in Riga, and you can see Capital City view. Uh, this is our view from our lecture room. This is our science. Of uh, house of Science, uh, they are, 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 are located, and um, our students uh, so much appreciate the, those nice uh, rooms and uh, lecture rooms and, and so on. And those are physics and mathematics students. Uh, this is uh, some festival once a year. Um, they uh, they. Uh, celebrate uh, uh, the days of physics and mathematics. Uh, we are orange, uh, our color is orange, and the story about this is that uh, a can of orange color was left uh, unused when painting the walls in the faculty, in the previous building. So the students used this color uh, for their shirts. But of course, this is a little bit joke, maybe a little bit of this or a fairy tale. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, now, serious. Uh, we provide uh, bachelor, master, and doctoral study programs, and as you can see, those are physics, mathematics, statistics, and all uh, three levels, academic levels. And actually, we are only one university in Latvia which provides um, academic education in physics and mathematics. We have got uh, technical university too, and those are beautiful engineers. But we are academic university, yeah. And our physics department 
uh, our main task uh, is to provide uh, physics and astronomy education at those three levels. But um, lectures are implemented in groups uh, from different departments and institutions and, and uh, faculties and so on. And all uh, of our lectures are research researchers. And uh, uh, as you see, can, uh, as you can see here, um, our uh, goal is efficient and uh, yes, as efficient and uh, research-based uh, education process. But it is not true because our researchers think that uh, my goal is research. My goal uh, are laboratories. But uh, we think that uh, it has to be education. Okay. Uh, about what do students expect of us when they come in first year of study one? What do uh, they expect of us? And I hope that this is uh, that we can engage students effectively uh, for a quality learning experience. And uh, we can make them uh, critical thinkers uh, for the 21st century. And uh, can, we, uh, can we imagine uh, what profession uh, will be um, used after uh, 10 years? No. Uh, that is why uh, we uh, teach students how to learn. Uh, instead of uh, guessing future professions. But actually our students are involved in our laboratories and in the uh, work market very early. Uh, okay, situation a little bit ago, while ago, some years ago. Uh, in general, in the bachelor's program, concludes with a physics exam. What was the result? The uh, result was uh, that uh, our lecturers said, uh, our professor, uh, professors said that students uh, don't understand physics concepts. That's it. After three years teaching and learning, they didn't understand some basic Concept. And um, the question was, what can we do about it? And we started looking for research-based evidence, of course, and the uh, first one was force concept inventory. Actually, this is approximately 30 years uh, old uh, research, and those uh, three uh, researchers um, measured their, their students' uh, understanding of uh, physics concepts and uh, they, uh, actually their growth in understanding during the course. And the uh, question was, what influences the growth of students' understanding during the physics course? And, uh, what kind of uh, questions were those? Uh, one of them, uh, for example, uh, this one, uh, and this is about copy again. And you can see here straight line, and this is copy uh, back uh, direction uh, trajectory, and copy uh, back uh, sliding. Uh, Speed is constant. <coughs> Imagine that uh, force exerted by the air are negative, 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 negative. And uh, it is so, sh uh, so short period of time, and you can imagine that the uh, friction force is so small. We can take it. Uh, we can take it. And um, now, I will provide you uh, five uh, possible trajectories. Uh, you are looking, uh, you are looking down on the top, 
and uh, when uh, the puck reaches the point B here, uh, it receives a swift uh, horizontal kick. You can see here the direction of kick. And which one will be the trajectory of puck after uh, point B? Uh, I suppose uh, you are physicists here, but uh, some of you are not. You are engineers here. And um, maybe they can hold those fingers. Which one uh, is your answer? Which one tra trajectory will be uh, after kick? One more time. You, uh, you uh, are looking um, down on the path. Here is sideline, and here is a kick. Okay. And uh, which one will be its trajectory? Please, uh, if you are so brave, show me one finger if your answer is A, two fingers if B, C, three, four, five fingers. You can, you can show me those fingers here, closer to you, and uh, which, one, uh, which one is your answer? Only one is so brave to answer. <laughs> Others, or you didn't understand the question. See, I, I, I don't say anything, I'll ask what you see. Which one will be the trajectory of what? Uh, downward force of gravity and upward force exerted by the surface. 
and now think about this five second uh, answer. You lock, uh, lock up no, from upside. Yeah. You look. Yeah. Yeah. In incorrect question. Yeah. We see from the top. Yeah. Yeah. We see from the top. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which one first? I will go for A. No, not A. Not A. Ah, don't go first. Then your talk moves southwards because only one force is acting on it. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's discuss after that. Uh, the um, correct answer is D. Only two forces, and uh, this is uh, uh, um, so some strange princi principles of Newton physics and uh, gives us to uh, make some thing uh, thinking. Okay, uh, next one. But they measured those uh, those were questions. I uh, gave an <coughs> example of questions. But what they measured? And they measured something like that. Here you can see the graph. Um, here we have got pretest in percent pretest before the course. And here we have uh, yeah. we can see. Uh, the improvement or gain. And you can see that uh, some of the uh, groups, those are average of groups, uh, some of groups are here, close to the uh, down, and some of groups are uh, labeled as uh, green, those are uh, higher, and those researchers, uh, Estenis, Wells, and Schlockner, those the results uh, were, uh, were uh, from those groups who used, uh, which lecturers used active learning methods. If you use active learning me methods, you are here uh, up to 30%. But if you do not use those active learning me methods, and those were high, uh, those were high schools, colleges, uh, colleges, and universities, those were in this area. And okay, we repeated this one, and what uh, we, uh, that is what we measured. And we measured, and those years, we measured that our results are here. So it means we didn't use active learning method, except this one, what is this? Why so uh, low pretest? This is group uh, called unphysicist, this is group geography. But this um, uh, lecturer used uh, active learning methods and uh, the gain was high. But those part were lecture centered method groups and even the pretest uh, was high, uh, more than 50%, but the gain was low. And uh, those uh, those numbers are here, result so, uh, gain only 30, uh, uh, 23 percent. So, so, um, well, gain. Hope to change it, and we have to use active learning methods. And our way uh, was to do some things daily. And now it will be some examples what we uh, do daily. And here I wrote those three uh, methods uh, which we use uh, most, uh, uh, most, and those are peer instructions. Mm, this is indeed the uh, active learning method, and uh, it promotes critical thinking and reflection. And um, our lectures uh, have each formed uh, the way how to do uh, this. And uh, uh, if you know what is peer instruction, I don't uh, tell about this, uh, this, but you did a little bit peer instruction. You compared, you compared your answers. This was a small part, but the uh, important part is 
uh, that I can uh, I can see your results after that as a lecturer, and then I can um, uh, decide what to do next. Go to the next question or stay here, and uh, under, under it will be understandable. Uh, this is the main uh, uh, goal of uh, peer instruction, and our lecturers use it so much. But they do not know that they use it. They only use it. <laughs> but uh, now we uh, talk that, that, that this is uh, post uh, peer instruction. We do completed classroom. I will show you uh, some examples. And uh, we uh, use worksheets. And I will, I will show uh, some examples of worksheets too. And all photos is, uh, are from our uh, university, of our virtual as I said, some examples. Uh, one of uh, that them is a uh, uh, classroom or pre-class uh, pre readings. It allows uh, the lecturer to take more time for discussion during the lesson. Uh, because our students must to be prepared for each lesson. Um, I um, create uh, different questions and tasks and I will uh, 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 show you. Uh, we use Moodle environment and uh, for each lesson I create tasks and questions and uh, students have to, uh, have to uh, read something from textbook and have to say some uh, figures or, or diagrams and so on and before each lesson but those are introductory physics lessons uh, or courses. Uh, before each lesson, uh, we have got a short test, assessment test, uh, like summary assessment. And as you see, uh, for example, though this test uh, had um, uh, six uh, questions and only six or seven minutes, and you have to answer uh, something like those questions, this uh, electricity, and actually those questions is from high school before uh, undergraduate lesson, but some of them I always uh, give uh, something like exciting questions uh, for, for students who want to be excited. And the students' feedback is that this is a very good idea because uh, you have uh, read it two or three times. Before lesson, you have to uh, read textbooks uh, then, in le during lesson, you can um, discuss about your question and you go further and uh, two or three times for each uh, question, it is very good idea and very good uh, method for uh, detailed understanding. Okay. And uh, we uh, compared it and found uh, a little bit uh, uh, some time uh, ago, uh, it is uh, a book, um, this is uh, from the book uh, Carl Wiemann, but, but uh, this is another researcher, Peter, uh, who said uh, how a kind uh, of questions should have those be, and I can say you can uh, see those both do not teach, uh, uh, students must understand why, and uh, be guided and focus and so on, and I can say it works. It works uh, uh, very well. Next one example uh, are worksheets, and so we have a big question for, for, for us. Uh, why do we have so many work, uh, worksheets uh, in uh, the, um, the middle or uh, not in the middle, pre, uh, pre school? No, but um, Oh, is it uh, primary school and uh, secondary school? Why do we have so many worksheets? But for universities, no, no one. It is not so. Uh, we have got some, <laughs> but this is not so easy to make those uh, worksheets. But our lecturer can do this. For example, this was this one. This is a uh, worksheet for nanotechnology uh, and. Uh, here uh, you can see, uh, uh, you, you have to make, here uh, is the text, you have to find 
uh, general expression for the total energy of, of the system uh, with infinite number of energy levels and so on. And you have to go to step by step. Or another one, electricity. Uh, here is uh, written that uh, this, uh, you have to spend on this uh, question uh, 3 to uh, 10 minutes and after that you must uh, to uh, show the answer and calculation to your lecturer. If it is correct, you can go to uh, uh, question number 2, but it is, if it is not, you have to go step by step through this first one. Uh, yeah. Next one, uh, inquiry based laboratory works. And, uh, for, for example, this is one uh, from uh, European, uh, um, um, not European, but International Physics Olympiad, author of this, uh, uh, this task or question, experimental task, is Jan Alda. Every physicist knows this uh, Estonian um, uh, professor Jan Alda, which is also for many. Um, uh, international Olympiad uh, questions, but uh, if, if the do, uh, something like that, do, uh, those problems, those students and uh, st uh, students must uh, to complete this task practically, and uh, this has to be done uh, in collabora uh, collaboration with these that research, uh, that researchers and in the laboratories and practically. And the next one example is Socrat method. And um, our lecturers didn't know that uh, they use it, but they uh, often uh, uh, discuss with their students uh, during uh, lectures. And uh, for, uh, for example, this is uh, our demonstration um, uh, lecturer. And then he uh, told about demonstration, but then he is. Uh, uh, when he uh, tell about demonstration, it is so so uh, slow and deep and uh, very exciting physics. Uh, during laboratories, we often uh, use this method. And uh, current situ situation, what and uh, how we measure now. First of all, how? Uh, you can see here uh, some scan. Uh, here is start point. Uh, you have to uh, give um, pre-test at the beginning, of course, and uh, you have to teach using this method. Uh, and uh, in the same time, you have to find better teaching method. If it is, you have to teach and go further, and uh, after uh, go the post-test. Then you have to calculate uh, improvement. And if uh, we get improvement as expected, uh, then uh, we can go further. If not, we have to uh, go back and uh, teach a better way. And uh, pre- and post-tests uh, we have got in physics courses, mechanics, thermodynamics and electrodynamics now. And uh, those are results of what we have now. Those are uh, those uh, three groups before, and uh, after uh, 20 minutes, we have those results. Uh, those are physicists uh, or how you call those based uh, on the graduate level, and those, uh, this is uh, engineering course, uh, but uh, this is uh, on physicists, uh, those are uh, on physicists, and as you see, Pre-test results are always like guessing. Five answers, you can guess one of them, this is approximately 20 persons. This is pre-test results, but always they can work and uh, achieve very uh, good improvement in their understanding. And uh, for physicists, uh, it is true, this is uh, our last group, very good uh, result of pre-test. And as you can see, in this area, we can put active learning results, and here only lecture-based results. And my challenge, it is create concept, as I said before, 
um, it is not so easy to create those concept tests, but uh, we have to do this in different uh, courses. And um, the ways we do it now are um, we make it uh, our, our, ourselves and we use validated test questions from. Uh, this, was, uh, this one is uh, very good, this part, uh, this part test. We uh, search into research and PhD works and we look in textbooks and we use chatbots. Me too. Yeah. And chatbots uh, helps me uh, to create some uh, concept questions. Very good. And what next? Next, uh, is, uh, uh, we have to uh, continue. The pass uh, in which the, is our student centered uh, approach element, and um, those are some points where uh, lectures and uh, research based learning, uh, edX courses, uh, and uh, we are planning to develop, uh, develop our own courses. And we created the physics department lecture handbook. I didn't have enough time to show it, but uh, I will show it. Yeah. And um, we, uh, we have a physics department faculty club. Um, this is about edX courses. Our lecturers uh, learn during those courses. Uh, this is our handbook for, uh, for, for new uh, lecturers. And, um, Physics department faculty group. This is an informal gathering uh, uh, for faculty members and others who are enthusiastic and interested in it. And um, we have uh, created a seminar for university physics uh, practitioners. And um, <coughs> uh, we uh, Organized a hackathon, and you can see here uh, project steps. Uh, but I won't tell about this more detailed. But uh, what, if, about, what can I say, and um, what would I like to make a reference? This is from this uh, book. This is Freeman's book uh, about how to uh, improve uh, the work of the university. And for it, it works. And a uh, challenge, a uh, big challenge for me, uh, is the next one, is linked to together. Everything you do in the course must link together. Uh, everything that means lectures, laboratory works, problem solving, it was readings and power. Everything must go to one box, one box. Uh, we, can, we can give students uh, homework, but if it is not linked to uh, lecture, uh, lecture uh, work, it uh, doesn't work. Yeah, open to discussion, collaboration, and joint measurements. Thank you for your attention.